Take a look at the high temperature from yesterday. You probably weren't out and about enjoying the weather, but if you were, you know, uh, it was a little bit on the warm side. 48 degrees was the high temperature here in Eugene. Head out to the coast. It was low to mid 50s for you. And as you head across the Cascades and into Central Oregon, above freezing, 37 for the high temperature there in Bend. Now that high of uh, 48 here in Eugene, that's just one shy of the average high of 49. So pretty typical early February weather. And same story for overnight. We dropped down to 34 and the average is 35. Picked up one one hundredth of an inch of rainfall late last night just as that game was coming to an end. Still 4.65 inches below average for this point here in 2014. So we could use some more rain. We're going to get a little bit more today. It's not going to be a ton, a few hundredths at best, but uh, we do have this disturbance making its way down from the north, which will continue to keep those showers going all the way through sunset tonight. And because we have some chilly air in place, it's all changing over to snow above 1,500 feet. That will also continue to be the case here through tonight. Temperatures right now in the low 30s for the central and southern valley, mid 30s for the Umpqua Basin, the coast, and back down to the teens as you head over over to the central part of the state. So as the shower moves through later this morning, could even see a little bit of snow mix with that. Uh, but again, not full snow until you get above that, that 1500 foot level. So that disturbance makes its way down from the north today. And once we get through that, we're in the clear in terms of rainfall for the rest of the week. This high pressure setting up shop just offshore, and that's going to keep us dry uh, Tuesday all the way through Friday. But at the same time, we're also going to see some very chilly Arctic air make its way in from central Canada. Take a look at this jet stream forecast for the next 48 hours. There's the ridge offshore, which keeps us dry, keeps any other storm systems from moving here into western Oregon. But as we head into the second half of the week, that cold air that's been bottled up over central Canada starts to spill down into Montana. Idaho eventually moving to the west side of the Cascades and dropping our temperatures to the coldest levels we've seen uh, since back in early December of last year. So again, that is on the way for the second half of the week. As for the next 24 hours, continue to see these scattered showers off and on today. Again, it's going to be light, uh, but we will continue to see snow showers above 1500 feet. Could see as much as an inch. Uh, possibly two inches up near Willamette and Sandy and Pass. Uh, seeing those uh, snow flurries across central Oregon and then even those higher foothills above 1500 feet seeing some snow showers today. If you were to head to the top of Spencer Butte, might be seeing some snow there later this afternoon. Otherwise, we'll dry out early tomorrow morning and we'll stay that way through Friday. So for the coast, you're looking at those mid 40s today, mid 30s tonight. Isolate showers off and on again, continuing to see temperatures dropping with each day. The Umpqua Basin mid 40s for you down below freezing tonight by a couple degrees. Isolated showers, otherwise uh, looking at those calm winds. Temperatures staying below freezing all day across the Cascade Passes with isolated snow showers there. Central Oregon low 30s, getting a few snow flurries. Temperatures continue to drop. You're looking at teens on the way for tonight. And for the Lamb Valley, it's upper 30s and low 40s for high temperatures today and then back down to the low 30s tonight with those isolated showers all the way through this evening. For the coast, you'll be dry, seeing some morning fog, lots of sunshine into the afternoon through Friday. Coldest day will be Thursday with a high of 39. And then those showers do return Saturday afternoon. For the Umpqua Basin, you'll drop to the mid 30s by Thursday. Down below freezing Tuesday night all the way through Friday night. For the Cascades, you get a little bit of snow today, otherwise dry chilly Tuesday through Friday and then you'll see some snow showers returning for Saturday and Sunday and for the Willamette Valley 40 degrees today down to just 33 degrees by Thursday again we will be dry mostly sunny overnight lows down to the low 20s this week and then we'll see those scattered showers returning this weekend which could start out as a wintry mix you want to stay tuned for that at the end of the week.